morning you guys it's maggie welcome back to another vlog i am so excited to be vlogging we have so much that we're getting done around the house today and today is monday august 21st i cannot believe that there's only a couple weeks left of august it's so crazy because i feel like this month has just flown by and it's gonna be fall soon and i'm very excited I know that I shouldn't be like wishing away summer, but I'm such a fall person. I love fall. I love fall fashion. I love cooking, being cozy, being at home, and um, like football, the leaves changing, all that. I'm just really excited for it. But anyway, I just opened up a package, which I'm really excited about. I got some new earrings from my one of my favorite jewelry brands, Heaven Mayhem. I got three pairs. This is the first pair. They're so cute. They just have statement gold and silver earrings. I love these. Look like little knots. And then I got a solid gold pair that look like this. I've also been up for so long, I feel like. So I am having my second caffeinated drink of the day. I made a coffee this morning, like early, early when I woke up around like seven. But now I'm just having a matcha latte with vanilla almond milk. I'm such a go puff person. I feel like I'm constantly ordering things on GoPuff. I got us a few waters. I love how they have the Mountain Valley. So I just got a bunch of those. And then also today, I'm cleaning my whole entire couch. Oh, I also got Lola tampons. I've been using these for years. They're organic cotton and they have no fragrance, toxins, or dyes. And they have a compact plastic applicator and they're just like all natural. I love this brand and they have them on GoPuff. And then I also got a big thing of laundry detergent because I didn't have that much. And I have the whole couch that I'm cleaning today. So yeah, so <laughs> that is something that I've been like putting off for a while, but today's the day we're stripping the whole couch and we are getting the downstairs organized and cleaned. Not that it's like even messy, but this is like the area that Max will just go and hang out because it's much colder down here and I feel like he just gets so hot. Yeah, we have the couch that needs to be cleaned because as you guys can obviously see where he sits. Right there and there. It's a literal mess. And I'm like, I like try <laughs> to like be calm and not have it stress me out and give me like anxiety, but it like really has. It like stresses me out that I feel like i don't know how to say this without it like coming off the wrong way but i don't know it's just like i have just been getting really stressed out because obviously it's like dirty and i never come down here because i'm just like get all overwhelmed but i did buy blankets to go over the couch so i'm just gonna clean it all today the good thing is is that it's slip covered so i can just take it off and clean it um but don't come for me <laughs> for talking about this like i feel like in my videos i try to like tiptoe around and say the right thing so i don't get like backlash or hate from anybody because i know how people can take the take things the wrong way on the internet but i feel like the fact that i try so hard to say the right thing and care so much about like the way that people are going to perceive things i feel like then i just like completely leave out things like this in like the real parts of my life and I just show like clothes and beauty products and just stuff that like really doesn't matter and that I really don't even care about at all. So I want to be able to show you guys like authentic and real things again that happened in my life because I feel like I used to be like this. I used to be like a completely open book. When I first started YouTube in like 2018, 2019, I was like going through my parents' divorce and just like dealing with a lot of stuff. I had like anxiety and sometimes I would just get like sad out of nowhere and I would talk about it all the time. And I feel like people could relate to me in that way. And then I feel like I just started to get hate for like everything that I was doing so I just like stopped sharing but anyway so I took the quilt off that was right here and I'm gonna wash that but I do want to move the couch around so I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do that obviously like when I start doing it but it's good that these pieces are the only ones that are dirty like the top doesn't get that dirty and I only really have to wash these two I'm gonna still do that one but these ones are pretty bad but I know it's gonna come out. 
and then we're gonna like vacuum and stuff because there's a lot of hair but if you have a dog that sheds and you recommend like anything you recommend products like cleaning product vacuum the vacuum that i have is awful i have the dyson but it's like i got it brand new last year when mac and i started living together because his hair he shed so much that we have to vacuum like every day but it was such an expensive vacuum and it didn't even like it already doesn't work as well as it did when we got it like it basically is like broken you know like it kind of just like doesn't work that well yeah if you just recommend like anything to help with like cleaning dog hair because i'm just not used to like having a dog that like sheds this much okay i have all the pieces right here that i'm gonna clean and to start i'm gonna take some of this branch basics oxygen boost it's basically it's like a stain remover and it makes all of your white clothing towels sheets couch covers it makes everything super super white and it's basically a oxyclean but like clean ingredients also i just did the clean washer cycle on my washing machine and it looks so clean so i did two scoops of that because normally i feel like they say to do one but these need to be extra extra cleaned I did normal detergent and then I'm going to put this on this setting right here. Whitest whites. And we'll come back in 58 minutes. <laughs> While the couch cushions are being cleaned, well the slip covers, I am cleaning out all the drawers and I'm gonna go through and just vacuum them. This is your sign to do that. I feel like this is the one thing that I always forget to do. And I've been opening up my drawer the past couple days and I'm like, stuff just like gets stuck in there. So this is your sign to clean them. And I'm gonna, first I'm going to vacuum it and then I'm going to wipe it down with some spray. But yeah, I'm going to do this drawer and then I'm going to do this one right here, which also <laughs> needs to be organized because I clearly just throw everything in here when it gets washed. Okay, before I show you guys the basement, because I just put the couch back together, it is 6.21, and I just cleaned all these chairs, and they look so good. I used Folex, and I sprayed the bottom of all of them, and I just like rubbed it with a cloth, and any stain that was on the chair came out, and they just look so bright and white, and I'm so happy. Okay, and this is what the couch looks like and it looks so good and i just feel so much better now that it's clean and we did so much organizing today also this closet right here was full with so much stuff and we cleaned all of it and it just feels so good and now this area over here is just all like bare because there used to be stuff all in the corner and stuff like that oh, but it looks so good and i'm so happy we took a little break from cleaning well we're done for the day <laughs> but we came to our favorite burrito place in the south end it's called chilicates and i've never got this before but it's called the taco plate and it comes with rice beans i got this spicy chicken it's called chicken tinga and cilantro radish i think that's it and then a side of chips and salsa and guac and of course hot sauce
guys just got back from the grocery store i'm gonna do a little grocery haul for you guys show you everything i got this is like an overview <laughs> and i'm gonna go in depth i think more and do a tiktok video um but i just got a bunch of fresh vegetables for meat the next few days i got these chicken breasts which i've been craving chicken caesar salad so i'm probably gonna make that tonight for dinner and also, I'm gonna save the leftover chicken to make fajitas. So I got some tortillas. These are my favorite flour tortillas. They have very good ingredients. They just have flour, organic cassava, avocado oil, salt, and water. And then I got these organic apple breakfast chicken sausages. I got some bacon, pastures, eggs, dates, avocados, a bunch of tomatoes. I'm gonna make a pasta salad. So I got bell peppers and cucumbers, red onion, zucchini for a dinner that I'm gonna make this week. And I also got this Good Culture probiotic cream cheese. I love the Good Culture cottage cheese. I love having that with crackers, so I got the Mary's crackers for that. I love having that as like an afternoon snack. And then I got these Who chocolate gems. I'm gonna do like chocolate covered dates stuffed with peanut butter. So I got peanut butter and pecans to put in it. And then this coconut cult yogurt I like to have in the morning. It's filled with probiotics. It's so good for you to have just like a spoonful on an empty stomach. And then I got some ginger tea, gluten-free brown rice pasta. I'm really excited about this. I haven't tried it yet. It's the Harmless Harvest coconut water with aloe pulp in it. So I'm excited to try this. And then I got sea salt for the little date things that I'm gonna make and put in the freezer. And then I got two things of vanilla almond milk and I got this one. I love the Calafia Farms cold brew. They have really good iced coffee and cold brew and they have so many different flavors of non-dairy milk and they just came out with this one. It is the organic unsweetened almond milk with only three ingredients. So I'm really excited to try that. I'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, this is everything that I got from the grocery store. I'm gonna make a little food before I have to record for the podcast. I just made a super simple like little snack. I did a piece of sourdough bread, that probiotic cream cheese that I showed you guys, tomato, a ton of everything bagel seasoning, some maldon salt on the tomato, olive oil, and a little squeeze of a lemon. Oh my God, you guys, I just got done with the podcast. I did a solo episode today and I was like, I don't know it was my first solo episode and I was so excited to do it and I'm so glad that he did it it went so well and I can't wait for you guys to hear it once it comes out I feel like it's so weird podcasting and talking just by yourself for 40 minutes straight because I'm like out of breath now <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing but I got some packages in from Amazon which I'm gonna open up right now with you guys because I'm really excited. I ordered just like a ton of stuff the other night while I was laying in bed. There were like things that I needed that I was I would think of. Like as the day would go on, I'd be in my house doing things. I'm like, okay, I need this, need this, like made mental notes, never actually ordered anything. So I ordered everything that I needed. Ooh, okay, I'm excited about this. First one because, well, I needed to get some cleaners for my espresso machine, but I also got a little set for making really good espresso shots. Like I've been watching videos on TikTok about it. Like this little thing you use to get all of the clumps out of the grounds, grinds, whatever they're called. And then I got this little thing right here which like pushes your coffee down. Makes you make really, really good espresso shots. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Okay, and then we have a big box. <gasps> no, guys. I didn't mean to order this much. I ordered these candies. One, two, three, four, 
five, six bags. No. Oh my God, you guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> I ordered six bags of these little sour lips. This is like the stuff that I don't need to see. I do not need to see the ingredients on things because there's red 40 in these. And I just saw so many TikToks about how red 40 is like really, really bad for you, causes cancer and all this stuff. And those have red 40 in them. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I honestly, I don't know. I also got a laptop cover for my laptop, obviously. And I have a bunch of stickers that I have just been getting in packages. And I wanna put them on it. I don't. I didn't wanna stick them like directly on my laptop. I used to stick all my stickers on my Hydro Flask, like my old one from a few years ago. But yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna get a laptop cover so I can put them on it. This won't even open right now. What else did I get? Mini trash bags for the bathroom, trash can. And then I got a body wash, Necessaire fragrance free body wash. I was just being so dramatic about the little candies because I was thinking about it and I was like, wait, I'm worried about this stuff that's in these little tiny candies yet I drink alcohol you know like alcohol is literally poison and so bad for you but every time I like have a glass of wine or drink a margarita doesn't even cross my mind anytime I'm hungover or like feeling like shit from drinking still doesn't cross my mind like this is not, that's not normal to feel that way. To feel like you can't even like do anything or leave your bed because of alcohol. Like that's, you shouldn't be feeling that way. The candies are staying. I'm being really dramatic. Guys, there's hair. No, there's Max hair underneath the cover. How the heck do I get this off? These are my stickers. I have Orson Iris. And then I have a couple of Dairy Boy stickers from Paige, Cherry, and then this one. I swear I have more of them. I just don't know where they are right now. But, hmm. Mm, I might put them on like this. Or maybe I should do one Dairy Boy sticker. We can do this. We're having fajitas for dinner tonight. I cut up two bell peppers and an onion and sauteed it with some fajita seasoning. I just made my own. I used like garlic powder, onion powder, salt, paprika, cumin, cayenne pepper, just all those types of spices. You can just Google like fajita seasoning and they'll give you measurements and stuff like that. And then I did some chicken. We have avocado, limes, tortillas, hot sauce I'm making a stuffed date right now with peanut butter and then we are doing a pecan I don't and want pecans all of them have pecans this is the last one and so then you put it in the chocolate and you just go like this it's gonna taste like a Snickers bar put it onto the parchment no. Okay. And then I got sea salt and we're gonna take. Oh my god, it's like drying. Hold on, we gotta add a little bit more chocolate on top. And we are going to take the sea salt. Put some flakes on top. Okay. And then we're gonna put them in the freezer.